Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Sunday the 7th of February. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Thank you for joining me today. A reminder about our services today. At 9.30 we have our kids church and at 10.30 we have a service of worship led by Jane Wake and with teaching from Ruth Osborne, both elders here at Mount Pleasant. So do join us for those services later on. And uh, a reminder that during the week, every Wednesday at uh, 12 noon, there's a word for the week, which is uh, available on both our Facebook and our YouTube channels, as well as on Instagram TV as well. An opportunity to receive some encouragement from God's word. And a new series begins this week, led by Jane Wake, one of our elders and our Christians Against Poverty Death Centre Manager. So as we gather together to pray this morning, let's uh, bow our heads and remember the presence of Jesus with us now. Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God, for he is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, he gathers the outcasts of Israel, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, he determines the number of the stars, he gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power, his understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden, he casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving, make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. His delight is not in the strength of his horse, nor his pleasure in the speed of a runner, but the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him in those who hope in his steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates, he blesses your children within you. He grants peace within your borders, he fills you with the finest of wheat, he sends out his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool, he scatters frost like ashes, he hurls down hail like crumbs, Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his words to Jacob, his statues and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord. And that we do now, as we thank God for his word and as we continue in prayer. Let's pray. Lord God, the wonders of your creation, the splendour of the heavens, the beauty of the earth, the order and the richness of nature all speak to us of your glory. The coming of your Son, the presence of your Spirit, the fellowship of your Church, show us the marvel of your love. We worship and adore you, God of grace and God of glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Lord, in humbleness of heart, we confess our sins. We forget to love and serve you and wander from your ways. We are careless of your world and put its life in danger. We talk of our concern for others, but fail to match our words with action. Lord, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Give us time to amend our lives and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Take a break today from reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Our final reading is tomorrow. But for today, we read from Isaiah chapter 40, beginning to read at the 21st verse. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to live in, 
who brings princes to naught and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown. Scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows upon them and they wither and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Thanks be to God for his word. This passage at the end of one of the most familiar chapters in the Old Testament speaks to us about the reversal in, in fortunes for those who trust in the Lord. People have been in exile and far away from their land, from their families, from their temple, from all that would bring them hope in this world and for the future. But God promises to restore them. If they will trust in him, he will do all that he promises to do. Now, at the moment we're going through difficult times, but God is faithful to his word and can be absolutely trusted. We need to hold fast to the Lord and know that he holds on to us. So today, know that God does not grow weary. We may be fed up, we may feel cast down, but God is the everlasting God and he's got a hold of us and he will never let go. Let's confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let's pray together for one another as we turn to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray. Today we remember especially our family and our friends, those whom we love, and we lift them to God now in our hearts, praying for their health, their well-being and their sense of hope. We pray that even when loved ones cannot physically be together, they would not feel apart. And we ask for God's help in our communicating, our connecting and our caring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the final time uh, this week for the work amongst Christians and the church in North Korea. We pray for the work of Open Doors Networks in China who broadcast Christian radio programmes into North Korea. Those who care for North Korean refugees in safe houses and provide North Korean believers with emergency relief aid. Lord, provide for all their needs, we ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for the work of BMS World Mission in India and for BMS-supported church planters who continue to spread the gospel from village to village as they distribute food to hungry families in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. 
Lord, prosper their labours and protect them, we ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for ourselves and for any we know and love in need at this time in the moment of quiet prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O blessed Jesus, Give me stillness of soul in you. Let your mighty calmness reign in me. Rule me, O King of gentleness, King of peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love and with God's people everywhere, today and forevermore. Amen. God bless you today. Goodbye.